This is problem number eight from section 3.2. And this problem it says, compute the right hand and left hand derivatives as limits and check whether the function is dif differentiable at point P. So notice that this point P is not smooth. We have a linear here, and then we have some sort of quadratic right here, and they're meeting at this point. Now, if we do the straight limits on these, like if we do the limit, if we do the limit as x approaches 3 for x minus 3 squared minus 1, and we do the same thing here, limit as x approaches 3 for 3x minus 10, When we plug in the 3, we get 3 times 3 minus 10, which is negative 1, which obviously, notice we get, we're getting the defined spot there. And then we plug in 3 here, 3 minus 3, 0, square it, we still get negative 1. So the limits, <coughs> and I should have said uh, limit as x approaches 3 from the right and from the left, uh, respectively, because this is on the left side and this is on the right side. I end up with the same limit, meaning this thing's continuous here. But that's not what they're asking us for. They're asking us if it's differentiable. So can I find a derivative at this point? Well, what I have to do to compute the right and left-hand derivatives is I need to use the derivative definition, except for instead of limit as h approaches 0, I'm going to do limit as h approaches 0 from the right and the limit as h approaches 0 from the left. So let's start with the easy one, which is the right side. Let's do the limit as h approaches 0 from the right. And I'm looking to see what's the derivative as I approach from the right. So I'm going to take limit as h approaches 0 from the right. Uh, this is going to be f of x plus h minus f of x all over h, which when I plug that in, that'll give me 3 x plus h minus 10 minus the function which is 3x minus 10 all over h. Do the distributing, we end up with limit as h approaches 0 from the right. This will be 3x plus 3h minus 10 minus 3x plus 10 all over h. You can see things are going to cancel, and we're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 3h over h, which is going to equal 3, because the h is canceled. Remember, this is from the right. So that means that our, uh, our limit as h approaches 0 from the right is 3. So our derivative so we can say the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 3 that's the important piece right here okay now that's from the right side let's do the left side now so we're gonna say let's start by doing the limit as h approaches 0 from the left, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. That's going to equal limit as h approaches 0 from the left. When we plug this in, we end up with x plus h minus 3. I should have put this there. I'm going to cross it out. x plus 8, h minus 3 squared minus 1 minus the original function, which is x minus 3 squared minus 1. So that's going to give you limits as h approaches 0 from the right or from the left. And then when we distribute this out, so we got to take x plus h minus 3 squared. So that's going to be x plus h minus 3 
times x plus h minus 3 minus 1 when I distribute this x minus 3 squared I still have minus here and this will be x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 1 so I'm going to get the limit as h approaches 0 from the left now I need to multiply these out so I'm going to get x times x which is x squared x times h which is xh x times negative 3 which is negative 3x h times x which is plus xh h times h which is plus h squared h times negative 3 which is minus 3h and then negative 3 times x is negative 3x negative 3 times h is negative 3h and negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9 minus 1 and then I combine this together that's 8 so it's minus x squared plus 6x minus 8 kind of wrote small there hopefully you can see all that that's all over h and I forgot to put that in each of these terms so I get the limit as h approaches 0 from the left we can start to combine some stuff together so do we see any x squareds in here yes that cancels with this we have negative 3x, negative 3x, and 6x cancel. You have 9 minus 1, which is 8, cancels with that 8. And we end up with 2xh. Plus, so that cancels, we can get those two out of there, plus h squared. minus 6h all over h factor in h out of the top and we get limit as h approaches 0 from the left when we factor in h out we get h 2x plus h minus 6 all over h and we go ahead and cancel the h there and we get the limit being 2x plus h minus 6. We plug in 0, that cancels, and I'm left with a derivative. So the derivative of y with respect to x for this function here is 2x minus 6. So when I'm looking at the point 3, I plug in 3, and I get... So we're going to say uh, y prime of 3. That will give you 2 times 3 minus 6. So I end up with 0. And remember when we plug in 3 up here, right, there's nothing to plug it into. So we have our derivative on the right side. So this is the right side derivative. R derivative at x equal 3. And this is the left side derivative at x equal 3 is 0. Notice that they're different. I got 3 and I got 0. So my derivatives are different at this point. So because they're different at this point, just kind of like limits, if, you have a, if your limits are not equal, it's not continuous. Well, if the derivatives aren't equal, then it's not differentiable meaning we can't actually find the derivative at that spot right there. So the answer to the question is no, it's not differentiable. So no, it's not differentiable. And if you were asked why, you would say it's not differentiable because the right-hand derivative is not equal to the left-hand derivative.